Thanks for tuning in to Astro Awani and you're watching Silhouette. The fashion landscape here in Kuala Lumpur has been buzzing with all things new, like this new boutique of Shomer Izwa in Loro Ma'ruf, Bangsar. And touching on all things new, the launch of a new collection, a new store, and a new campaign for the needy, all on Fashionscape. L'Oreal Professional initiated a nationwide fundraising campaign called Color for Life. This campaign is aimed to encourage the hair and beauty industry to take lead and be part of a worthy course by raising funds to help children infected and affected by HIV AIDS. The inspiration has always been uh, to give back to the community and to give back to the society that we are a part of. And this is something that L'Oreal truly believes in. Uh, through this program, we have uh, targeted to support uh, children with AIDS. And this we've done in collaboration with the Malaysian Youth Foundation. Well, you know, I haven't been involved for the past eight years, but I saw the statistics just now, and it, it is up to 98,000 uh, Malaysians so far that have been uh, infected by HIV. I remember when I started 20 years ago, it was around 4,000, 5,000, so it's just been increasing all the time, although there are drops uh, every year uh, in the past few years. Um, I think what's alarming for me is the number of women who've been increasingly infected. They're now the, the largest group that are infected. And um, I also read um, a news story uh, a couple of weeks back, which said that uh, young people, students, uh, were also getting infected with HIV. So it just shows to me that there, there are some things we haven't done right yet, which is really educate um, young people about HIV. L'Oreal, together with five professional artistic ambassadors with five renowned designers, created five limited edition recyclable totes to be sold at selected hair salons. One can also get their haircut by professional hairstylists for as low as 20 ringgit at the charity haircut drive which also took place during the campaign. Actually, when we are in this business of design, sometimes not all of us can do big things, but we all can do small things. So whenever I'm approached to do something with, with the, my work, I tend to actually like try to do it because like designing is like breathing for us. So it's like, and this one was designing t-shirt and the bag. So it's not very hard. And yet if it's going to like support a cause that is going to like help to buy medication for children, for instance, I mean, I would actually um, just do it and just say yes at the very moment. I've been involved with the charity for quite a long time. When I released my album in 95, um, my sort of the main song of the album, By Your Side, was actually donated to the World AIDS Foundation um, because it was written for somebody who was HIV positive. So it's, it's, uh, it's something that I've been involved with for a long time. When L'Oreal approached me and said, would you want to do this with us this year? I was like, sure, why not? I think it's very important. Uh, I've been invited by L'Oreal Professional and uh, to a sketch for the t-shirt and the bag and raise money for the children who have an AIDS uh, connection. So I felt this very meaningful to our life eh? as I travel around all over the world so I can take time to design this uh, this uh, 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 shoe for the bag and t-shirt. So it, it means a lot of meaning to me. The label that has been at the forefront of the Thai fashion industry since 1972, delivering high fashion, ready-to-wear collection, Just Pal, wowed its fashion-forward and discerning followers by launching the highly anticipated sister label called CPS Chaps. CPS, its a brand, has been more than 10 years in Thailand, in Bangkok, and we opened many stores in Thailand and here first venture to Malaysia and hopefully we can bring more, more and more collections for the Malaysian women here. I would say, I would describe, it's very rock, it's very rugged, very chic, very modern, very uh, daring sometimes. You know why we, you know, my customer asked me why you bring CPS here. We have been asking for CPS as well. You know, our customers say why CPS not here. So, and also we are Asian women, we are Asian customers. 
know, we have very good cutting from CPS, from tops to bottoms, one piece dresses, one piece jumpsuit, you know, and also we put the rock and rugged and also the sometimes bling bling elements into CPS, you know, just to make it more energy. I would say just power will be uh, more subtle in the sense like, okay, more elegant. CPS is by more outstanding, more chic and show off more, you know, by uh, more cuttings in terms of the, the, the piece. So I would say they are equally you know, fun and equally you know, nice to choose from. Depends on where you want to go. Swedish label Hennes & Maurits or H&M started a frenzy in fashion when this global fashion brand pioneered design collaborations with style icons such as Karl Lagerfeld, Stella McCartney, Roberto Cavalli and Comme des Garçons to name a few. H&M has gone a long way since 1947 when its store first opened in Sweden offering fast fashion clothing for all walks of life. From the hottest trends to the best in basics, H&M never ceased to entice its customers with timeless design, quality and sustainability with unbeatable value for money. After a really long wait, H&M finally opened its door to the Malaysian market in 2002. The currently launched store in Avenue K marks the sixth store to reach our shores. I like the styles and the fact that it's very affordable. You know, um, you, as someone that attends a lot of events, you can't exactly repeat your outfits too often. And I like the fact that you can buy an, you know, an outfit and kind of mix it up, tops and bottoms, and it's actually affordable as well. It goes without saying that it gives uh, fashion lovers the accessibility to own fashion without actually, you know, um, burning your wallet in that sense, you know. So uh, it has um, uh, a lot of options, uh, choices. You know, you have kids, and then uh, you also have, you know, office wear, and then, uh, you know, so there are a lot of varieties. So in that sense, it is very good. And uh, yeah, accessibility is a big part of why H&M uh, has become a craze. Yeah. Well, I think it's funky, it's trendy, and also I love the collaborations with, you know, the famous designers, for instance, Isabel Moran. That's why I love H&M. Well, H&M is a choice label because one, it's affordable, two, it's fashionable, and it's easy. I mean, you can go into the short store and you're guaranteed to get a certain quality, which is, you know, you can carry it during dress down. If you want to dress up a bit, you can, you know. And for me, H&M is a, it, for me, it's a one-stop place to go for all of your needs. And depending on your fashion sense, you know, you're able to carry it. Like I say, something could be casual to formal, from day wear to night wear. You know, this is what H&M's about, you know. I've been waiting so long for H&M to come to Malaysia. I'm half Danish, half Malaysian. And in Denmark, it's been there since I was like, I don't know, 11 years old. So I was waiting for that moment that finally H&M was here in Malaysia. Finally, it's here. And honestly, the clothes are amazing. I mean, I'm wearing the holiday uh, collection. And for me, it's cheap, but not too cheap as in that sense. And it's also very like chic and you have a lot of choices. So when you go into the store, I mean, you can get something for your holiday, you can get something for your sleeping wear, you can get your underwear, you can get everything. And so basically, it's like your whole wardrobe in there. So when you walk in there, there's everything to choose from. And that's what I love about H&M. You can spend hours, and that's what I do. Usually when I go to the store, when I spend two or three hours in there, it's a good store. Because usually, you know, sometimes we girls, we like to walk in, you know, scan the place, and then we'll walk out again. But with H&M, it's like, there's so much to scan, so you end up staying for so long. And I can always find something, always, for my dance, for my yoga, for my work, for my homework, everything. So that's, what, that's what I love about h and it's all around. Up next, model turned entrepreneur on Muse. She graced magazine covers and struts the runway. Now, from modeling, she took a bold step into business. Let's get up close and personal with Suhara Omar. All my life journey has been very interesting and every single uh, thing that I started is all without any plan. 
so it's all about um, you know it's it's just okay I feel like doing it I feel like trying it so it's just for fun going for audition and that kind of thing and I got it that's how I got, I got into uh, modeling uh, industry no plan at all definitely people always think that oh modeling is like about being glamour about being known and and this and that you know but it's actually beyond that it's is full of hard work, is full of dedication, is full of commitment. To be very honest, models, they are all high metabolism. So not all of us honestly eat healthy. But again, you know, because at that time you were young and you know you 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 want to have fun, you you, you know you will you want to try everything. You know, so it was a fun time actually. Perhaps not many people know that uh, I started the business um, during my modelling days. You know, um, modelling is all about waiting and waiting and waiting. And, um, you know, we have a lot of free time, especially backstage. So that's how I started the business, by selling all those uh, little uh, jewelries to my model friends, uh, backstage helper, de designers and all that. So um, when I decided to, to quit, of course, to be honest, nothing to hide. Uh, age factor and uh, I wanted to start a family. Uh, in fact, I was pregnant at that time. So there was no turning back. I was happy um, to leave. I have done my 12 wonderful years. And, um, and um, I know at that point of time, it's time for me to move to the next step. So I didn't think twice. I was like very determined. Um, I guess it's me. I, I really know what I want to do and I will definitely do it. Um, honestly, none of my family um, background has uh, any jewellery business and all that. But uh, there's a lot of people have their talent in them, which a lot of people they don't discover. And they, they re it's either they refuse or they just ignore it. But to me, the, the, the secret is the passion. You must know what is your passion and that is definitely my passion since little girl because I keep taking and mess up my mum's uh, jewellery box and <laughs> uh, here and there. So, so uh, the passion actually that drives me um, to get into this. When we started, we have a very uh, little collection, small collection, but yet enough to represent Suhara Jewel Arts. Because the concept has never changed since since uh, day one we started, it always has been a nature-inspired uh, pieces, and uh, yes, until now it's just that now we have uh, uh, more um, uh, more designs, more collection, and it varies to much more element of the nature. A lot of people. Um, thought that Suhara Jewel Art um, is a uh, costume uh, or accessories. It is not. Uh, we categorize, uh, categorize ourselves as a jewellery because we are using all semi-precious stones and we are using uh, precious metal like silver. We have some item in gold and, and that kind of thing. There's so many jewelries in the market, right? But uh, the difference with us, we, um, we are actually offering customers uh, all the nature inspired, number one. And number two, we do uh, a lot of uh, awareness campaign. Like for example, uh, we, we came out with a coral design. So we give awareness to the public that, okay, uh, why you need to take care of the coral? What will, ha what will happen if, you, if we keep digging out the coral and that kind of thing? So, you see, besides selling the product, we also share the awareness. Like, for example, we have the stingray skin, we have the real butterfly wings. We actually got it from, uh, from the farm where all are dead butterflies, which the farm will just throw it away. So, what we do, we preserve the beauty, we, we preserve it for us to, to, to enjoy it. But a lot of people uh, did not uh, realise this. Uh, as you can see in, in our boutique, we have all open concept. We have, um, you know, from the beginning, I make things very clear that, okay, all the, the decoration and all that must be nature in inspired to match well with the pieces. You know, like for example, as you can see here, we use all the nature and it's real. 
you need to be confident. Wearing jewellery is all about confidence. Some people say, oh, oh, I'm very, um, I'm not tall, um, I can't wear big pieces and they say, well, it's not, it's, it's all a matter of uh, you being confident wearing it, you like it in the first place, you know, if you don't like it, then of course you won't feel comfortable. You must feel comfortable what, with what you are wearing, then you will like it. Well, I must say, um, uh, Suhara Jewel Art Woman, I call it, uh, confident, are very sophisticated, yet feminine. You know, we have to keep our femininity, definitely. Uh, my husband is the one um, supported me. In fact, he supported even my modelling. He said, you can do it. You know, there are times, you know, you feel that, oh, I can't do it. You know, in life, you will go through that. You know, when I decided to quit the modelling and started the business, he was all out, always behind me. Um, he wasn't on board yet at that time, you know, he uh, because he was working with uh, other companies. But as we grow, then I told him that I definitely need uh, his help. Um, I think he's the only person that I can trust to be with me in this business and um, uh, Alhamdulillah he is managing uh, the business now and uh, well yep I must say I'm very grateful to have him we I must say that we 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 make a complete team and I must say that um, the engine that runs behind Suhara Jewel Art is my husband There are a lot of good local models, a lot I must say, very talented one. It's just that you know they need more support, they need more uh, encouragement and need more opportunities which in my opinion is lacking, uh, especially now. So I think uh, really we need to do something about it. I had wonderful jobs in my life, you know. Um, I, I perhaps didn't mention that I was uh, with Singapore Airlines and I started modelling while I was with Singapore Airlines and after that when I left Singapore Airlines I do full-time modelling so to me I had two wonderful jobs <laughs> in my life you know I enjoyed both of them so there was never a time that I feel oh I want to give up I am bored of this no because I, I love what I'm doing it's just that a matter of time and the situation that I know I have to move on to the next. So that's what happened from, uh, from the airlines and move to the modeling and move to the business. So I must say that uh, I'm, 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 I'm very positive about it and uh, there was no such thing as, oh, um, I want to give up and no. Alhamdulillah, I, I, so far as, far as for now, yes, it, despite having uh, challenges, having uh, troubles and problems and here and there, which, which I take it as a, a learning process. Uh, whatever mistakes has been done, um, you know, I take it as a, uh, a subject to learn, not a mistake. Because I believe that if you take it as a mistake, then it will just pull your, your spirit down. So, so far, I'm good. I'm very contented, I'm very happy and I'm very blessed, so I'm very grateful. Let's go for a short break when we come back, high-end grooming parlour for men. The famous Little Blue Box, Tiffany & Co collaborates with two local bridal designers. Also, for the gentlemen, True Fit & Hill brings a luxurious feel to the everyday grooming on Stylepedia. The oldest barbershop in the world, as certified by Guinness Book of World Records, True Fit & Heal, is now accessible for the debonair gentleman in Kuala Lumpur. One can now get the full royal and luxurious grooming service or simply the real English gentleman haircut right here in Star Hill Gallery. We offer the full range of services uh, of True Fit & Heal, which are done in uh, the UK. And we actually add on uh, different services which are suitable for the local market and for the Asian market. Uh, so we, of course, uh, our main business is uh, to give a hairstyling, so haircuts, by our master barbers, who are all international uh, barbers with, with international degrees and they work for more than 10 to 15 years in this industry. Uh, but what many people like us for is our shades, which we do the ultimate uh, shave and do what we call the 
traditional hot towel shape. Basically, this is uh, using a hot towel, which is the uh, traditional British way of giving a shave. Uh, and then we gather with a beautiful soap shaving cream from uh, Truffet and Hill. And then we, you know, we use a cutthroat razor. So it's all traditional shaving in the best possible atmosphere and the best possible service, uh, quality of service that we provide. Uh, Truffet and Hill is known for this fantastic product. Uh, very nice retail products that are available at every boutique that we have uh, to sell. And these products range from cologne, aftershave, aftershave balm, uh, and a very important product, one of our best sellers, is uh, a pre-shave oil. The interiors of the boutique, uh, or, or I would say the barber shop, the interiors are underlines of what is there back in London, but we have took it a couple of steps ahead to, you know, to make it a little bit uh, uh, modern, but keeping the British, uh, you know, classic uh, look. Uh, we have added something very interesting because we are by appointment of the Duke of Edinburgh. So we added a VIP room, but we call it the Duke's Parlour. So it's been it's been a really a nice journey. Uh, the, the reaction of the clients has been very good. Um, we were thinking that we're going to attract only the, uh, uh, I would say, the more mature generation. Uh, above 50 or above 48, you know, 50, 55. But we are pleasantly surprised with uh, 40, 35, 30 years old, even 20, 22 year old uh, clients coming to us and appreciating this whole experience, which gives us a lot of, uh, you know, we feel so good that something like that uh, is appreciated by the young generation. Because after all, when you build a business, you build it for the a young generation. Tiffany & Co has celebrated the world's greatest love stories since 1837 with its timeless and elegant creations. In line with its understated design, two local designers, well known for their timeless design in bridal wear, Celeste Toy and Alia Bastamam, were selected to pairing their bridal collection with Tiffany's jewellery. Well, Tiffany & Company, they've been around for quite a while already, I mean, for, for, for years, and I mean, it's part of history and they have a very strong heritage. And I think how uh, Alia Bastamam comes into this quite perfectly is, is because um, Alia's design aesthetic is basically classic and timeless, you know, nothing too new or too radical. Basically, um, an Alia Bastamam wedding dress, if, if you would make it and wear it now, and if you would put it on again, let's say in 10 years' time, it would still work because it's, it's completely timeless design. And um, it works perfectly with Tiffany & Co's uh, heritage. There were two looks. One was a full corded lace um, long dress, you know, with a pearl and a Swarovski crystal embellishments. That would be a bit more modern, a modern take, because it's a slimmer cut. It's got a, it's got a more boat neck, na uh, neckline and a lower back. And then the second look was something more traditional. It was actually, um, the silhouette is kind of like the modern kurong, but it was a one piece and it was worn with a veil. So it would actually be perfect for an akad nikah, you know, a um, more traditional Malay wedding. It features a lot of lace and a lot of crystals. I work a lot with um, Swarovski crystals. A lot of my gowns are very classic and elegant because I want it to be very timeless. I want my client to look at um, the album in say five years and they still love their gown and not go, oh my god, what am I wearing there? You know, that kind of thing. My philosophy is timeless, elegant and very classic. That's all we have for today. I'm Isa Islan. Don't forget to tune in to Astro Awani and catch Silhouette for more than just fashion.